Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to receive two or more data streams using GNU Radio Companion. On the screen, I have the uh, GRC file for GNU Radio Companion for doing uh, two frequencies. So it has a center frequency of 1 megahertz. The upper frequency is 1.7 megahertz, and the lower frequency is 0.67 megahertz. And so I've got it set up with these exhalating filters. And so for each new frequency you want, you need one new exhalating filter. And you probably also want to put in a, a power squelch for each one of those filters so that Typically, you'd be listening to something that's scanning frequencies, and the frequency would be there or not there, and you can you, the, the power squelch will turn it on and off. But you can do anything once it's out, out of the exhalating filter because that's the decoded, the deco decoded signal, or it's, it's the separated signal. And so you can do any number of frequencies you want as long as it's within the bandwidth of the uh, device that you're using. And so here we'll run it. And uh, yeah, that didn't take. Here we'll run it. We'll have another conversation in just a moment. And we've got it's, freedom loving patriot Clay Clark with us. He is the American. It's simultaneously decoding the two frequencies. And so here if I've got the squelch turned down to zero. So if I turn the squelch up so that you can hear something. That's the second frequency, and here we turn it up, and you got the second frequency. Now, with the normal mode, you'd want to set the squelch down so that you wouldn't hear the background noise. Well, in this case, I can turn it down, and there, there I've got the squelch set less than the uh, power of the signal and so you don't hear anything and so if that station were coming and going and you wanted to hear it at periodic whenever it came on then you could set the squelch like this and it would theoretically jump up here to some place so that you could actually hear things and so um, now, that's basically all there is to it in this case I, I add them all together and put them into the same AM decode and so you can hear them off of that. Uh, you can you could pipe it into anything you wanted to uh, once you separated the frequencies. And so that's basically all there is to do to uh, decoding the frequencies. Uh, the uh, GRC file is out there. You'll you can see the address in in the notes. And so that's all there is for today.